Hi, this is Kristen Pedia with Sunshine Reviews free tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss the different ways that you can format text on a wiki. This is going to include things like bolding, creating bullet point lists, numbered lists, or even block quotes. To start, we're going to open up a new page. I chose Kristenpedia slash sandbox, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on contribute. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear up the box and you're going to see we just have a simple text box. Now for beginners it might be more comfortable for you to use this toolbar at the top. You're going to see the first couple are obvious formatting tools, bold and italic. So let's go ahead and we'll try those out. We're going to do bold, highlight it, and click on the bold tab. Now you're going to see that when you do that it surrounds the word with three single apostrophes. You can't use the double ones otherwise they'll mess up the formatting. Now you're going to see when I do italics and that you're going to see it just does two of the apostrophes. But this is where the Wikipedia toolbar tends to fall apart. When I want to do bold and italics, we're going to go ahead and highlight it, click on bold, and then when we click on italics, you'll see that it does five of them. However, most people are just going to click on italics and you're going to see it just pops up over there. So it's best to learn immediately that three single apostrophes mean bold. You're going to use this when you bold your subject at the beginning of an article. Two means italics and five means bold and italics. Let's take a look at how these turn out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on show preview and you're going to see that they all come out correctly. Next we're going to go over some HTML commands. The first one is how to underline your text. You're going to start with a greater than and less than sign surrounding a U. These greater and less than signs are also known as carrots. And they're a beginning of an HTML command. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write underlined. And then I'm going to put a forward slash before the U. And that tells the program that this is where the underline command is supposed to end. Like I said, anything in a wiki you, you open, you're going to have to close. And in HTML, you close it with one of those forward slashes. Another common one that's used on project pages, which is discussed in a later tutorial, is strike. To do that, you just put an S where the U was, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to write out strike, and then we're going to close that command. Now when I do show preview, you're going to see that it comes out underlined and striped. Next we're going to want to go over bullet and number point lists. So for bullets, those are pretty easy. You're just going to use an asterisk. I'm going to go ahead and type out item 1, item 2, and item 3. Now when I do show preview, you're going to see that these show up as bullet points. Alright, now if you want to do an indented bullet point, there's two ways you can go about that. You can do two asterisks, see I'm going to do item 4, or I can do a colon mark and then an asterisk, and this is the way I would recommend. You see I'm going to do item 5. Now there is a slight difference in the spacing, as you'll see when I click on show preview. However, the indent with a colon mark is very common. I could just do simple text and it would show up in the same spot. So I'll go ahead and I'll do item 6. And you're going to see that this is also indented, which is why I would encourage you to get used to using that colon mark. So you can see that it is also indented, though, without the bullet point. Now, if you wanted to do a numbered list, you would simply switch out the asterisk with a hashtag or a pound sign. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a couple of these. Item 1 item 2, and item 3. And when I do show preview, you're going to see it comes out as 1, 2, 3. Go ahead, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for you. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. Let's say I wanted to indent one of these items. What I'm going to do is do two pound signs. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type item 4. 
And then below that, I'm going to do one, and I'm going to type out item five. And you'll see how the formatting goes when I click on show preview. So you can see here, it indents one of the items, but then continues with its other numbers. However, there is a weakness in number point lists, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Let's say I wanted to double space one of the items. And so I'm going to do a hashtag, and I'm going to write item six. Now when I do this, you're going to see that it begins the numbers all over again. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, even though the spacing looks very similar. This is a weakness in the system. In order to correct this, I'd advise you to go back to that colon mark and then just type one, two, and three. And this way you have complete control over how the numbered list would go. You'll see this when I click on show preview. Now you can see there's absolutely no difference between this one, two, three and this one, two, three. Yet there's more control in your hands in the code, so I'd always encourage that. Lastly, let's go over how to create block quotes. There are two ways to do this. The first one is using a simple HTML command. You're going to open up a caret, you're going to type out block quote, and then you're going to close the caret. And then within it, you're going to paste your block quote. For this one, I'm just going to copy and paste quote a few times so you can get the general impression. All right. Now what you're going to want to do, go ahead and backspace that, is you're going to want to close the block quote command. So we're going to do that forward slash and write out block quote. Now when I do this, I'm going to go ahead and click on show preview. And you can see that it's indented. And it goes across the page. So it's not centered or anything. It's just slightly indented like block quote should be. But you're also going to notice it's not italicized. There's no quote marks. So a lot of the formatting is left up to you. There's also a wiki template, which is something else that we'll go over in a later tutorial that can help you with this. To do this, you're going to type in two curly braces, and then you're going to type C quote, and you're going to put a pipeline. A pipeline is a key right above your return key with either two small dashes going straight up or a backslash. And then you're going to paste your quote in. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy this again, paste it down here. And then you're going to close those two curly braces. Now when I do show preview, you're going to see that this time there's these pretty images that surround your block quote and help clue in your reader as to what they're reading. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to save my page. You're going to see that I was logged out so I have to fill out some CAPTCHA. Actually, we're going to go ahead and refresh that. And we're going to go ahead and save the page. If you have any other questions on how to format text on a wiki or Sunshine Review, I'd advise you to sign in to one of our Wednesday webinars. They happen every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central Time. And also, if you found this tutorial helpful, please consider contributing to Sunshine Review and helping us maintain the site. We have a lot of other tutorials available, and I hope you enjoy them. Thank you.